Van D, a dynamic leader with decades of experience building companies and crushing sales. He's been there and done that. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Van D. Inspiring audiences across the country to do it too. Here's Van. Welcome to another episode of the Van Deeb Podcast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad you're with me today. I am here with the world-renowned, super popular, let me think of some more words to describe Cam, describe Cam <laughs> Broham. Cam Broham, I'm glad you're here today. I am glad to be here too. Thanks, man. You know why? Because if you weren't here... Nobody be listening because I don't know how to work all that equipment you That's have. That's true. Yeah, I, I'm also your number one fan. I'm and the, I'm, I'm the first guy that gets to hear this. So and you're you're my number one fan. Got to pass my test. I'm num. No, how's that go? <laughs> I'm your. I'm you're my fan. No, it's it's your car. We're best friends. There you go. That's, That's what's happening. It. I keep trying to go back to uh, Tommy Boy when he's always messing up talking to clients <laughs> yeah it's it's got to be your bull it's got to be that's it that's <laughs> the line i was looking for it's your bull oh geez we have too much fun you know one of these days we're gonna we're gonna record what we talk about before we go live and i think that'd be a podcast in itself the van and cam show that is dangerous yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is dangerous but we have fun so that's the most important thing so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really glad to be here today with you, but I got to tell you this before I get started on my topic. I am struggling leaving my puppy. Man alive, I tell you, when I say goodbye to my dog every morning, I just, it's its heartbreaking. He just looks at me like, where are you going, Dad? And I got to tell him, I'll be right back. So, there you go. So, I, I am a dog lover today and every day because I've got a great dog named Baxter. If you want to know more about Baxter, you can go to vandeep.com and buy the book that I wrote about Baxter. It's all kinds of beautiful pictures. However, today, our podcast is something that's very important to me, and it's the title of this podcast is called Every Company Needs an Outside Voice. I want to tell you something. If we're not waking up every day trying to get better, then I don't know what your mission is when you get out of bed. I mean, how many people go get up out of bed saying, today I want to be average. Today I'm just going to go through the motions. I know a lot of people do that, but I tell you, life is a lot more fun when you get up every day and you want to try to be the best you can be or learn something new to become better. Well, what helps us become better as humans is to get an outside voice or a consultant or a coach. So, I believe if you keep doing things the same way, you're going to keep getting the same results. To make progress, you have to do things differently. So I ask you a question. Do you have anyone in your life who is willing to give you their honest opinions about what you could start doing differently to get better results? Is it your spouse or maybe your coworkers or your boss? If you have one, if, you're, if you own your own company, you're an entrepreneur, you may not have a boss. But they will probably tell you what you want to hear instead of being completely honest. If you have an outside voice or a coach, they will give you what you need. So let me explain. During several decades of being a business owner, I can't tell you the incredible amount of information that I've received from people outside of my company and sometimes from a completely different industry. And all that does is when I listen to what they're doing or their appraisal of what I'm doing, it's just going to make me better. When you're looking for a coach or consultant, be sure to choose somebody who can truly benefit you. And I'm telling you this because I can't tell you how many people have coaches or consultants in their life to helping them get better But the people that are coaching or consulting them have never been there and done that. The clients that I coach are confident that they are getting solid advice because they know I have been there and done that. How can I pay attention and really take advice from somebody if they really don't know where I've been or what I'm going through? John Wooden a former UCLA basketball coach and legend in the collegiate basketball world, said a good coach can change a game. 
A great coach can change a life. Well, I really believe that coaches, consultants, and outside voices um, can really, really benefit you. So one of my clients that I coach is a company with about 400 employees. I meet with them once every three months for two and a half days. And here's what I do. I come in, I talk with the employees in small groups. So I may sit in their conference room and every half hour somebody new comes in. I I talk to them one-on-one. Sometimes they bring in small groups. Then the second day towards the end, I meet with the leaders of the company or the owner of the company, and I share the information that I've gathered from the employees. Now, I am amazed at the extent to which employees open up to me about what they love about their job and what they don't like and how it could be so much better. This is exactly what I'm searching for to report back to management. Employees or coworkers will tell me about their challenges and situations they they flat out told me they're not comfortable sharing with their superiors. Ladies and gentlemen, we all have people in our firms and around us and coworkers who know they can do a better job if they had somebody to talk to about it. As an outside voice, I can share the employees' thoughts with people in their company who can make their wishes a reality. I'm just telling you it works. And here's what I've always said. You've probably heard me say this in my speeches and my podcast. This is not a dress rehearsal. Every day we wake up, this is the real deal. We are experience L-I-F-E, life. This is life. And we can either just go through the motions and just be average, or we can try to get better every day. And if there's an opportunity for you to have an outside voice in your life, a consultant, I don't care if it's even for your personal life. Why wouldn't you do that if you know that your life is going to get better? The employees and leaders in this company that I've been talking about, they want to receive direction from me, and they let me know on my next time back how they have improved. So basically, I'm kind of an outside accountability partner. And I'm only sharing this all with you, not that you have to hire me, but somebody. Think of of how this can benefit your company to have an outside voice. It, it, it's, it's amazing to me to see how excited they are when I tell them about my progress that I have made individually and as a company when I talk to the leaders. They're so interested in knowing what these people are saying, that they're not hearing it directly from them. I believe a good outside voice from a coach will help any company improve employee attitudes and productivity threefold. Now, can you imagine a company that would turn down an opportunity to triple their market share, their productivity, and get really great results? A great outside voice like myself, coming in to speak to you, will leave people better than they were before. And my ideas and processes will stay with them long after I'm done. At the very least, ladies and gentlemen, your co-workers, employees, will learn how to treat their fellow employees better and become more understanding. One of the quotes I love that I, that I've I hear often is just because a coworker doesn't do things the way you do does not mean they should be judged by you. This is a serious problem out there. How many people do you know that complain or ridicule uh, or, or gossip about somebody that's doing things different because it's not like the way they would do it? That's not fair. You shouldn't judge people just because they're doing different things different than you. This is the kind of stuff that I want to talk about to employees so they understand, so they can hear it from an outside voice saying, hey, we got to treat everybody like they matter. So just remember, you don't have to work for a large company to benefit from an outside voice. It can be, you can be an individual who want to make better progress in your career. So my main objective is to instill confidence in my clients so they realize that they have the ability to reach their goals and that the only person holding them back is themselves. We all need this type of encouragement. I know I do. We all need encouragement to get better. I know, you know, I was at a restaurant yesterday and a guy comes up to me and said, hey, I want to tell you, I really enjoy your podcast. I share them with everybody. I flat out told him, I said, it's really important that you told me that. 
And I said, I want to tell you how grateful I am because when people give me a compliment, it only makes me want to be better. Now, I'm sure some people would act like, well, you know, yeah, I am good and, and gee, thank you and all that. No, it, it, it should make you, make you aware that people are listening to what you have to say and it, it, it should make them want to become better. I know it does me when I get a compliment and that's what outside voices are supposed to do for people in companies or especially in a world of entrepreneurs that we live in. So just, as some, just some of the things that you need to know of how it will benefit you to get some sort of a coach or a consultant. A coach can help you implement innovative ideas that you may have considered but never put into action. I can't tell you how true this is. They will remind you of what you're not doing and what you should be doing, and they'll hold you accountable. A good outside voice can bring out the creativity of employees who want to help in more ways than just showing up for work and doing their job description. You know, I've heard bosses say, you know, Mike and Cindy and Julie are great employees. They come to work and they do their job and then they go home. Well, how do you know that these people don't want to be more involved? How do you know that these people don't have a lot of creativity and enthusiasm and they want to be more engaged in your company? Outside voices will help find these people that are already within your firm. And one of the biggest benefits is an outside voice. It can make employees feel like they matter to the company. I mean, I know when I sit down with people and I say, you know what, your company must think a lot of you. And they say, well, why is that? Because they want me to spend time with you to make sure that you're getting everything you want out of this company and that they're getting everything that they need from you. That means you're valuable. Another thing, a, co- a consultant can ask the right questions to reveal what each individual could be doing more of and how they could become a better team player. Ladies and gentlemen, All of us can be better at work, but it's difficult when it's the same thing every day, and a lot of people don't know where to turn to. I can't tell you how many people that I consult with in companies that tell me stuff they never tell their bosses or their coworkers. It's my job to manipulate that into ways that I can communicate with their, their boss so we can make sure that they're utilizing all their talent in the company. And all it takes is an outside voice to help that happen. An outside voice will also make employees feel like they're more engaged. Now, let me tell you something. When, a company, when an employee of a company feels like they're more engaged or somebody that's in your mix feels like they're more engaged with you, guess what? They're less likely to leave. I can't tell you how many people leave companies because they don't feel like they're like they matter and the company did not engage with them. In my past company, I am, and most of you know I had 350 people before I sold it. At the end, I wish I would have done this in the very beginning of building that firm, but in the end, we started really engaging the people that worked there. We had somebody in charge of of um um our company picnic. We had somebody in charge of the golf tournament. We had somebody in charge of this. We, we engaged people there to do more than just their job. We wanted to give them something fun to do. It, it made them feel like they matter, and they get to lead a project. The other thing is when people, employees, coworkers, managers, when they speak freely with an outsider, they feel like they're getting a lot off their chest and they're being heard. You can't tell me, you can't tell me that when you get something off your chest of something that's bothering you, that it's not liberating. I know when I have something that's bothering me or something I want to get off my chest and I feel like I can't tell anybody, when I I find someone I can tell, man, it is like a ton of bricks off my shoulder. I feel liberated. I got it out of my system. For any individual and company that wants to do things better, listening to an outside voice should be just as important as installing the latest software or putting a new system in place in your company. What's more important than humans? Wouldn't it be great if everybody that you worked with said to you, I can't wait to come to work today. 
You've made my job so enjoyable, I can't wait to come to work today. So this is what some of my clients tell me. Van, we brought you here to reinforce our message. Our people get tired of hearing us say it. But when it comes from an outside proven voice like yours, it becomes new, fresh, and exciting. Think about it. I want to find out what's important to you as the manager, as the owner. And it's my job to make sure everybody else knows that. I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something. So one of my clients, one of my clients who's, who's uh, he's quiet, I'll say he's a quiet guy, um, been running the company forever, not a lot of the employees know him. And I sat down with him to do just this. I found I sat down with him to say, "What do you? What message do you want me to reinforce?" And we went through what he was trying to accomplish, hiring me as a consultant. And he said one thing to me that stuck with me. He said, "Van, my employees are like family to me. I love all of them." And I said to him, "I said, have you ever told your employees what you just told me?" And he said, and this is his this is quote, hell no. I've never told anybody that. And I said, why not? Because he's kind of a stoic guy. Um, I totally respect him. Does not wear his heart on his sleeve. Maybe quite the opposite. And I said, what is it going to hurt you from telling your employees that they're like family to you? Do you know how how?" Wonderful that would be for them to hear, and they may be they may just be waiting to hear that. So moving forward, they had an all company meeting where everybody in the entire company came and they had me speak for a little bit. And I urged the owner when it was his turn to talk to say this. I got tears in my eyes. I was a little emotional. I'm I'm standing right behind him, and he stood up there and he said, One thing I have not told you all, some of you have been with me for 40 years, and I've never told you this, you're all like family to me. And I want to tell you, when I looked out over the audience, it was, was, you could hear a pin drop, that's how quiet it was, and people were sobbing, because the person that they came to work for every day, and that they loved dearly, he finally said to them, I love you too. Basically, you're like family to me. I treat all of you like, I I consider all of you family. Now, I'm telling you that story because to you and I, it may be common sense. Well, Van, that's common sense to tell people that how much we respect them, how much we appreciate them. It's not. People don't do it. He still thanks me today for telling him to do that. Nobody has ever told him to do that, not even his manager's. I'm just telling you, an outside voice can be a game changer. I will put my life on the line that some of the people that were thinking about leaving that firm will not leave now because they got to hear that their owner appreciates them. Every business owner, manager, or employee, coworker deserves to have a cheerleader who can help them bring out the very best in themselves. Like like a consultant. What better way could there be to say, I appreciate you, than to bring in someone who can help them become more confident, accomplish more, and have a more positive outlook? I want to tell you something. This is not new. Consulting has been around since 1930. And in the 1960s, it really, really became popular. Did you know that the consulting industry... This is no kidding. The consulting industry is between $100 billion to $300 billion in revenues every year. Companies and individuals are paying coaches and consultants up to $300 billion a year. I only charge half that. (laughs) Cam's over here laughing. So... 
It's really important. A lot of times people hire consultants or coaches to help them with strategies, help them with management, help them with operations, financial advisory, human resources, technology. There's all types of consulting. My type of consulting is making humans better. That's all I want to do. I just want to help find what, how can we make humans better. And if I've got to tell the owner of a company that no one's ever asked him to do this, tell your employees that you love them. Tell them that they're family. Nobody would ever, none of his managers would tell him that. I'm just telling you, this is really, really important. Other people's opinions are extraordinarily important for your growth. I want to tell you something. So when I opened up D Brilty back in 1993, and like I say, the majority, majority of the people that listen to my podcast who have heard me speak know I am a common sense junkie. I base everything I've ever done on common sense. One of the things I wanted to do is I realized when I started my company in 1993, it wasn't just what I thought would be great. I want to know what people that are going to do business with me, what do they think is going to be great? So here's what I did. I decided I'm going to start a board of directors for my company. (laughs) It was just me, myself, and I. I had nobody else in the company at that time, just me in a 200-square-foot basement where I started. So what I did is I picked customers that bought or sold a house through me. And I picked people with good personalities because on the board of directors, people that I enjoyed being around because I wanted everybody else on the board to enjoy them too. So what I did is I picked eight people. I had my sister-in-law, Claudia Deeb, a retired school teacher. I had her make up some certificates that said, you're on the D Realty Board of Directors. I think it cost me, you know, a buck for the certificate. And then hopefully she didn't charge me, but I don't know. <laughs> um, so then I had them framed. I went to Target and bought eight frames for five bucks. People know I'm frugal. And then I gave, I asked all these, these eight people, would you be on the D Realty Board of Directors? And they were thrilled to death. So what did I do with that? I had them all come into a room. I took them all to lunch. And I went around the room and I said, you've all experienced my level of service. You either bought a house from me or you sold a house with me. What could I have done different? I wanted to know their opinion. Any recommendations for me? I wanted to hear what an outside voices had to say. But the biggest thing is, Ladies and gentlemen, obviously you're here on my board because you're super important to me. What would you recommend I do to grow this company? How can you help me grow it? Now, let me tell you something. When I engaged eight clients that have used me for their real estate services, and I said, how can you help me grow? What do you think they did? They told everybody about me. They helped me build my company. One lady, and I'll tell you her name, Mary Kaiser, Um, retired police captain. She is responsible. Her and her husband, Dan, are responsible for referring, and I kept count, over 35 clients to me over the course of my time. 35 clients. You think it may be because I said, how can you help me grow? These people did not work for Deeb Realty. They are outside voices or what I would consider consultants. Do you know how many people in my speeches I told to get a board of directors? And they'd say, well, my company's just me. Well, so what? That doesn't mean you can't have a board of directors for just one person. Be creative. Just remember, it's not as much what you think. Listen to what other people are saying. Listen to their advice. That's all we're trying to do. I mean, if you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to go to work, what are you, I mean, why not? Why not? Why not give me a call? Hey, Van, I want to triple my income. Can you help me? What would you pay for that? What would you pay to have a better life? Or you want to wait until you're, 
you know, a month away from dying and say, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that, and I wish I would have done this. No. And you know what? We don't have all the talent. As much as we'd all like to think, boy, God blessed me with all this talent. I am the best at this. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. No, we're not. We need other people to help us become the best at what we do. We need game changers. We need people to come in and say, have you done this? Have you done that? If you could see people's reactions as an outside voice, it, when the light bulb goes off that I give them a suggestion, it's crazy. It's crazy how they feel like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I didn't think of that a long time ago. So my biggest thing when people hire me to come and consult is based on humans. I want to see every human working at the firm becoming the best they can be because then what happens? They're going to love their job. Their bosses are going to love them. Really good possibility they're going to get a raise. Really good possibility they're going to advance in the company. I want to tell you something. When I hear managers and leaders talking about advancing somebody in the company, do you think they're saying, hey, you know what? We should consider Bob. Bob comes to work. He gets here right on time. He leaves right when he's supposed to, and he is super average. We ought to really take a look at promoting him. Yeah, that's not going to happen, ever. But what they're going to say is, hey, you know what? For this new position, Cindy comes in about 10 minutes early every day, and she's never watching the clock. She doesn't take advantage of long lunch hours, and she loves her job, and she works hard, and she's trying to get better every day. We should take a look at advancing Cindy. Yes, that's going to happen. I'm just telling you. It is so important to have some outsider take a look at where you're at. And if they give you 10 things that you should work on, you may say, I know that, I know that, I know that, I know that. Oh, my gosh, I didn't know that. That's going to be a game changer with me. A good consultant has the right expertise. A good consultant may be hired just to identify problems. Because we all know sometimes we are too close to a problem inside an organization to identify it. That's when someone like me rides in on my white horse and I save the day. I help them identify the issue, but mostly I help them solve the problem and to move forward. A consultant is part of the team. A consultant can supplement the staff. Sometimes sometimes a business discovers it can save thousands of dollars a week by hiring a consultant when they are needed rather than hiring a full-time employee. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Even if you don't own the company or in a leadership position, if you feel like your company's going to do better with a consultant, here's the nice thing about me. I don't need benefits. I'm not looking for you to, to give me medical and save me a parking spot and do all this stuff. I am an independent contractor. I am there to be on your team, but not as an employee. I benefit everybody in the company. Ladies and gentlemen, I can go on and on and on about what a good consultant can do. The biggest thing is, is a consultant can act as a catalyst for change. And we all know no one likes change, especially corporate America, but sometimes change is needed and a consultant may be brought in to implement the changes. A benefit to the company is that the consultant can do things without worrying about the corporate culture, employee morale, or other issues that get in the way when an organization is trying to institute change. And you know that 
we all have been with companies or we know companies that need change, but no one's willing to do it. So I could go on and on and on about why all of us need, even some of us in our personal lives need a consultant or a coach. Here's what I'm begging of you, okay? Don't just pick anybody. Make sure the person you ask to coach you or consult with your firm or with you has been there and done that and knows what they're talking about and didn't just go get a six-month certificate in coaching. If I'm going to spend money to get better, I want it to be somebody that knows where I need to go, what I need to do to get there because they've been there and done that. And yes, I'm talking about myself here. I'm not going to wait till I'm on my deathbed to ask you to hire me. I want you to hire me now. I want to help you make your life, your company better. Now, if you feel like your boss needs to hear this podcast, please email him this. Text them this. Tell them to tune into this. You can get all my podcasts on Apple, Spotify, Vandeeb.com. It's right there on the front page or anywhere you get your podcasts at. This is so important. Of all the podcasts I've done over the years, this one means the most to me, I'm telling you, because we need other people to help us get better. We need people to be honest with us because it benefits not only the person that we're coaching and consulting, but it benefits everybody who knows them. You're going to be better in your home life. You're going to be better around your children, your spouse, your significant other. Mostly you're going to enjoy what you do for a living. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad you tuned in today. Like I said, this is super important to me about we all need an outside voice. We all need a consultant. Please consider me. I do not put you in a contract. I just do a month-to-month deal with you. If we meet once a month, twice a month, or once every 90 days, um, I know you're going to love it. I know you're going to want to keep me around. (laughs) But for today, I'm very grateful you tuning in. I hope that you constantly are thinking about how you can become better and live the type of life that God wants you to live. And that's a happy life has nothing to do with having lots of money, just living a happy life. Consultant can help you get there. Thanks for tuning in to the Van D Podcast. Until the next time. A Media Production.